Happy Saturday, everybody. I'm out here working on the 612 a little bit this weekend. Uh, this is my version of social distancing. <laughs> I'm uh, way away from any crowds, <laughs> basically keeping myself here. So for the foreseeable future, we'll at least keep working on this a little bit. If it gets too bad, I'll actually stay home. But for now, I feel comfortable coming out to the shop here and working. So enough of that. Anyway, what I got done today uh, as I cleaned up the hardware for the covers, lock washers, and bolts. And I made gaskets for there, for there, for that cover, for this cover. Uh, I cleaned up this, uh, I don't know if we talked about this yet or not. So this is a, uh, what do you want to call it, a little lock clip to keep. If you remember, that's the end of that brake band. Uh, there's a nut there. That's not the right nut. It should be a big oversized nut, but I don't have the right one here yet. Um, so this keeps that, it's a little lock basically to keep that nut from turning because it's not really tight on there because it's an adjustment, right? So you got this little little sheet metal lock that keeps that from, from moving on you. Um, and for those people that might need to make one of these, I think Rod, Roger needs to make one of these. I made up a little blueprint here for you. Um, pretty self-explanatory. I think all the dimensions on here that you'll need are here. Um, and there again, that's what it looks like. I actually got to fix this one. It's from being bent, it's actually cracked and broken there, but it should be able to weld that up. And if not, I'll make another one, but that's what it looks like. Just, uh, like I said, 16th inch sheet metal, nothing too fancy. You might have to, you know, make it bend it a little bit custom accordingly on your particular tractor because this is all oh if the camera picks it up well or not but it's all just kind of like ground out here it's not machined by any means so you know these all might be a little bit different tractor to tractor and who knows by the time i'm all said and done i might actually tweak this a little bit more too but it just gets bolted on there with this uh, differential cover bolt come on now that i'm videoing of course it won't go in nice and easy like it did before there we go so that just gets snugged up like that to keep that nut in place so yeah that's what i got done today uh, not a whole lot of progress but a little bit is better than nothing yeah, we'll see if we come out tomorrow maybe work on a little bit more we'll see what i feel like doing all right Check back with you later. Well, now for something completely different. This is an L612 at all, you're thinking. But bear with me, I got a little logic to my madness, method to my madness. Oh, I've been puttering around in my basement little shop here today. I didn't go out and work on the tractor, kind of just hanging around in the house. Uh, getting a few other projects around the house done today instead. Anyway. Oh, I came down in your basement this afternoon and, and getting some of these to-do projects done. Got a couple uh, little body hammers that I picked up last summer. Uh, the handles were broken on them. They came in a box of mystery stuff at a garage sale. The heads were good, but the handles were missing. So Dad and I put on a couple of handles when I was home at Christmas time. And I'm just kind of doing the finishing touches to them now, cleaning them up a little bit, wire wheeled this one up, polished up the head of the or the face of the head a little bit. Oh, if we get a nice day out here, I might throw a little bit of paint on the head and rub a little oil on the handle. That project will be done. And another one here. So this is calling how they looked when I got them all covered and overspray and icky and dirty and uh, fixing a little splinter in this handle. And I'll do the same thing, clean that all up. Anyway, you're trying to think, why am I doing this? Well, Eventually, I'm going to need to do a little sheet metal work for the tractor. Um, there isn't much sheet metal on it. Basically, you got the hood. is about the only real sheet metal on it. There's no fenders or anything. But I'm going to have to work on reproducing the air cleaner at some point. So that's, that's where my mind is going here, if you're wondering what I'm thinking. So I also picked up this bead roller uh, off of, uh, eBay here a while back. And I finally got around to looking at this a little bit. I'll probably, it's in, I think, 
working order as it is, but it's a little dirty and icky and rusty. So I'll probably, <laughs> you guys know me, I'll probably take it all apart, clean it all up nice, maybe give it a, give it a coat of paint, um, make sure all the adjustments and everything are what they should be. I already took the handle off and straightened that out. That was all kinds of bent. Um, got that tuned up a little bit. Um, I'm not sure. I was looking at... My original plan was to make a little kind of a stand for it because it didn't come with a stand. Um, I found these at the local hardware store. And my thought was to modify these a little bit so that would fit on there. Uh, maybe drill and tap and put a jack bolt through the side of it to locate it. And then that way you could either bolt it to a bench or you could bolt it to a piece of tubing or angle or whatever. And then clamp it in the bench vise. You kind of got some options or whatever. So that's one option I might do. I also came up with this chunk of heavy wall tubing. And I'm thinking to do the same, same thing. Drill and tap for a jack bolt to tighten it on there. And that way you could rotate it different orientations. Uh, depending on, where again... You know, if you welded it to a plate to mount to a bench and or some type of a, um, you know, a combination where you could either weld it on a, uh, another flange or whatever. Something where you could mount it in the vise. Same kind of story. So you got more options that way. But one way or another, you know, figure out some type of a stand for it so you can sit and work on it here uh, conveniently and that's yeah that's why you need the jack bolt to, to tighten it up it's a little loose without it maybe you know maybe even a couple of jack bolts we'll see but if you haven't seen one of these before it's it's kind of a neat little tool you can buy new ones but I, you know i like old stuff so i gravitated towards the vintage one this is your uh fence guide so if you want it rolled at a specific width you can adjust this in and out and then just tighten up with the wing nut there uh, this is your adjustment to adjust your head up and down for different thicknesses of material and different dies um, and then you just pretty simple you just rotate it to get the, the profile you want um, obviously this profile is what came with it probably won't help me a whole lot but I haven't done it yet, but I'm pretty sure you can just remove these nuts and then these dies will come right off. There again, my thought process is that I'll just make up custom dies, whatever I need um, for, like I said, like I said, reproducing those uh, air cleaner parts to, to make a, a new Bennett, Bennett air cleaner for my 612. Uh, it's the main reason why I picked this up, but I think it'll be a pretty handy tool to have for making other things. Um, I also got this other little side project here that Dad got with a, with a house that he bought that he's remodeling. It came with a few, I don't want to say junky, but kind of junky old tools. This is a Dunlap, uh, and then it had this... The scroll saw was on there too, so one of these days I got to get around to making up a stand uh, and uh, getting these going because I don't think there's anything wrong with them. They're just needing some love. This is a Dunlap as well. They were probably a set, I'm guessing, because uh, <laughs> they were both mounted to a board and ran by this motor. Um, or, so then I got this motor I had kicking around, so I don't know, we'll see if those work. Maybe put a new cord on them and uh, see if we can get them going someday here. Uh, I'm not sure how I want to do this yet. My, there again, different ideas. My One thought I had was come up with a different, a little bit different mounting and possibly make it a horizontal uh, sander make a make a table on the bottom here longer table so that way if you're trying to like say true up a manifold surface you know you could you could do that or something i don't know just one of those little 
side projects I got going that someday I'll get to. But today was just kind of one of those piddly days, so I kind of was taking a look at things here, going through different projects I got to work on. That wagon there is uh, for my niece and nephew's Alice Chalmers pedal tractor that I got them. Uh, so I got to restore that one of these days too before the summer, I suppose, so they can play with that. Pull it behind the wagon. All kinds of fun projects to work on. So, I don't know. I just figured to give you a little update if anybody cares what I've been working on here. Yeah, I don't know if I'll get any more done this weekend or not. This might be my sign-off, but if I get any more done here, I'll let you know. Well, we might as well take it apart, huh? Why not? <laughs> so I took the handle off, took the top part off. Working on taking this part off just for future reference to see how it goes back together. We got that little deal under there, the saddle with the spring, a little spring on the back side here. Because that whole pivot uh, arm pivots for your adjustment. This here threads off the back. Now this whole shaft should come out of there. Yeah, I'll check back. Well, there, that was rather easy. It all came apart pretty good. Only one small casualty. I broke this nut. But that was my own fault. I was beating on it, not realizing it was a cast nut and not a regular steel nut. So, whatever. We'll have to find a replacement for that. But other than that, yeah, it all came apart pretty good. Got the dies off the end and the gears off. and So now it will make cleaning everything up much easier that everything's in individual parts take it all to the wire wheel and clean it all up and probably give this you know the body of it a little spray paint it was originally black you can see a little bit of remnants of paint in there so i'll probably paint her up black again and put her all back together and we'll have a good operating tool it's kind of fun restoring a tool that you can use for restoring an old tractor i think so at least um I think it's probably it for this week. I'll see if I can put together a little video here. Not a whole lot to share this week, but I'll put it together and I'll hopefully see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.